matter that we felt had a certain national and regional relevance. We looked at some national security issues. Some of you may recall that we had a national security advisor. We looked at some regional issues where we had the former foreign secretary, Mr. Shah Sabin, speaking on some issues. Then we also had an opportunity to look at some of the economic and trade-related matters. And we had both the former governor of the Reserve Bank, Mr. Bimal Jalal, and the former chief economic advisor, Dr. Shankar Acharya. That, I would say, was one of our most successful public events because it was in the middle of last year and in many ways I think it both anticipated and gave some detail about the economic and fiscal challenges that India was likely to face and much of it, much of that alas, I think uh, we wish it hadn't happened but we know that we went through similar challenges towards the end of the year. So this really was the background or the backdrop about how we began these exercises. And towards the end of last year, again, you know, as part of these interactions, there was a suggestion that we could consider having a forum wherein or whereby resident ambassadors to India could be given an opportunity to address, speak on many issues that are of relevance. So that was the spirit ambassador, please come. So that was the spirit in which we embarked upon what we called as the Ambassador Lecture Series. And this again was being done jointly by the <coughs> the Society for Policy Studies. And as of now, our rough plan for the year is to have six such lectures. And we have generally sort of conveyed this to most of the missions and embassies in Delhi. And we've had what I would call as a very positive and a robust response, so we should be doing the scheduling in the course of the next few months. So that really was the genesis and the backdrop to this evening. So on that note, allow me to welcome all of you again. I wish you a very happy new year. Repeat my request to those who just joined to put your phones on silent, vibrate, whatever be the mode. And the front row is still available for those who would like to come up and sit here. And as I said, our plot is to finish by 7.45. I recognize some of the ambassadors sitting in the audience, some of our senior diplomats. You're most welcome to sit up if you wish. And if you still need to make that exit, we understand the pressures of time. So on that note, if I may, I'll request the Spanish ambassador and our chair for the evening, Dr. Shita, please come up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Udair Haskar on behalf of the Society for Policy Studies and the India Habitat Center. We are starting slightly ahead of schedule, but that, as I said, was also encouraged by the kind of response we had. This is the first of the Ambassador Lecture Series, as I was just saying a moment ago. It's my very pleasant duty again to formally welcome all of you to this evening. I hope we'll see you in our activities at the SPS in the course of the year. And also to introduce our chair for the evening, Dr. Shilkant Sharma, we've circulated his CV along with the invitation, so most of you will have the details. I have great pleasure in inviting Shil to this evening to chair the session. He, in turn, will introduce the Spanish ambassador and the subject for the evening. But I thought I'd again take a moment or two. Dr. Shilkant Sharma is one of the few, I would say, quote-unquote, people who have made the transition from the IIT, the Indian Institute of Technology, into the foreign service. I cannot remember offhand how many they are, but in our time, when he was a young diplomat and I was in Sapru House, he was one of the very few people who had come from the IIT to the foreign service. And over the years, as I said, he has a very, very distinguished profile. But for me, what is of particular relevance is that both of us are in many ways old IDSA hands. He was one of the early diplomats who spent some time in the Institute for Defense Studies and Analysis. And we had Mr. K. Subraman as the director. And from then, I would say over the decades, I have had personally a very, very long and fruitful association with him. He has held many jobs here at headquarters as also outside. But the two that come to mind in the context of this evening's discussion, one is he was our Joint Secretary looking after disarmament, visa. And later on, he was India's rep, India's representative in Vienna to the IADA. And finally, he also finished as the Director General, Secretary General of the SARC. 
so very very experienced and he's also a member now of the center for air power studies and is a distinguished fellow with the society for policy studies so he we have requested to share this evening session so without any further ado sheel i request you to 